Good day everyone. In my last class, I explained isochoric. In this class, I'm going to be explaining isobaric system and isothermal system. So we start with isobaric, isobaric systems. So what are isobaric? In my last class, I told you guys that when you hear the word iso, that the word iso means same. The word baric is coming from the word barometer and as we all know that barometer is one of the instruments that we use in measuring pressure and that is why when you hear the word isobaric system it simply means a system with constant pressure that is what we call an isobaric system so when the pressure in a system is not changing the system is called an isobaric system. Now, how do we make use of isobaric system under thermodynamics? If I have a container and then I have a wire grease, I have my tripod turn, I have the Bunsen burner, and then I have my piston. Okay, and I have my gases. We could remember vividly that piston applies pressure the bunsen burner applies heat in form of temperature and this is the volume of the container so now we know that the pressure is constant the pressure is not changing but the temperature is changing so if i apply it to this container the gases in the container gain average kinetic energy which increases their speed and they tend to move to the upper part of the container hit the surface of the piston and push the piston upward which means increase in temperature brings increase in the volume of the container and that is why the law that guides isobaric system is called the Charles law which says that the volume of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature provided that pressure is kept constant so in that case i'm having volume is directly proportional to temperature where the pressure is constant and i can say the volume is equal to the proportionality constant times the temperature then i can say k is equal to the volume over temperature then i can form a sequence here so i can say v1 t1 equals v2 c2 in that respect but take note that your temperature must always be in kelvin which is the fundamental unit of temperature all right now how do we get the work done in an isobaric system i said it in my last class that the change in work done for any system is always equals to pressure times change in volume okay now we can all see here that the pressure is not changing that is the pressure is constant meaning we have just one pressure which is still the same pressure that we are having here but if you look at this we are going to see that the volume is changing now, so far the volume is changing it simply means the work done in an isobaric system is not going to be equal to zero unlike that of isochoric and that is why the change in work done for an isobaric system is equal to the pressure times the change in volume and what we call change in volume change in volume is the final volume minus the initial volume so this is the formula that we use in calculating the work done in an isobaric system now how do we represent isobaric system graphically so for the graphical representation of isobaric a plot pressure against volume remember pressure is measured in pascal and volume is measured in meter cube or centimeter cube so in this system the pressure is constant the volume is changing it simply means the graphical representation is going to look this way shows that the pressure is constant but the volume is changing and that is basically what we have under isobaric system so if we are to calculate the work done in an isobaric system the formula that we are going to apply is pressure into bracket the final volume 
minus the initial volume and that is what we have for an isobaric system okay the next system that we are going to consider in this lecture is isothermal so let's consider an isothermal system